Hello, hello, all you fashionistas out there, and welcome to Israel in Style, where every week we travel around Israel looking out for the top Israeli designers to bring you guys the most amazing collections. You can never get enough of Israeli jewelry designers, at least I can. And this week I got to sit down with one of the best. Moti Kashi has been working with his hands in the jewelry business since he was a little boy. Designing jewelry runs through his blood, from his grandfather to his father, down to him. Take a look at our visit to Kashi Design. So you guys have seen here on the show a unlimited amount of brilliant and talented jewelry designers. We're here right now with another brilliant and talented jewelry designer, Moti Kashi, where he's going to be telling us how he started his luxury jewelry brand. Well, I started like <laughs> almost 40 years ago, immediately after releasing from service. Uh, that was my father's and my grandfather's uh, in her Inheritance. inheritance, yeah. Yes, inheritance. And uh, yes, I just slide it into it uh, perfectly. It just fit into you. <laughs> exactly, yes. I love to make things by hand. It was even my, I mean, my hobbies were always involving handmade, uh, I mean, stuff. stuff. Something yeah. with handmade. Mm -hmm. You were always yes. using so your hands. Yes, so handmade and design were always in, my, in the background. Okay. And so uh, I'm also lucky to be uh, in, a, let's say, in a kind to produce something that makes people happy. Right. And uh, well, that's jewelry actually. Could you describe your jewelry? Like, what makes it recognizable? Um, I would say that I'm very much uh, influenced or, or inspired from nature, from motives that I see in nature. For example, uh, sea swirl in these earrings. Wow. And uh, drops. Also. Like raindrops, you could Rain say? Raindrops, okay. yes, you might say. And uh, besides of that, everything, if you, if you work, if you do design, that every, then everything is, uh, inspires you. Like if you walk down the street, you get inspired you by something. You get inspired from a car, from a house, uh, from everything. It's right. sensitivity that you somehow develop. So you feel like you're, as a designer, you're sensitive to like, you're more sensitive than the average person exactly. when they're walking down exactly. the street. Exactly, exactly. So what we're looking at here mm -hmm. are different collections. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this necklace specifically? This, yes, this necklace, for example, is a piece that I designed for a customer of mine that purchased uh, these stones in his trip to the Far East. Wow. Uh, it involves uh, uh, tourmaline, tanzanite, labradorite, and rose quartz. Uh, the piece itself is made in 18 karat yellow gold that involves some diamonds, yeah, I see that. which I added to enhance the beauty of these right. stones. Yes, the shininess, as if they mm -hmm. need any more shininess to this. Yes. It's beautiful. Thank you. And so these are. This is handmade. This is 100% handmade. Wow. Nothing is. Uh, I mean, every piece, every frame was designed specifically to the stone that it holds. Wow, this is stunning. Yeah. So what about this ring inspired you? Uh, this ring is inspired from a rubber band that was laying on my table. I just took the rubber band in hand, I wrapped it around my finger and I said, oh, here we've got a ring. Accidentally. Uh, completely, <laughs> yes. And, uh, okay, I took it, I took the idea to my computer, we design, I designed the ring and uh, well, that's what. That's what came out of it. That's what you came added out of a it. few touches, diamonds, yes, of course, and stuff to make like the that. flow very uh, right. smooth and uh, to make the ring very comfortable. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Rose gold, my favorite. That's my favorite. Rose yeah. gold is my favorite. Well, and uh, here we've got a pair of earrings made with based on uh, on uh, rose gold uh, on rose diamond. Rose diamonds are the is the kind of diamond that was very popular about a century ago. Wow. And so I combined it into a modern antique uh, uh, um, design. This earring is a piece I designed for myself. It's not for customer wow. yet. It was not purchased yet. Uh, they are inspired from a water swirl. Okay. As, you drop, as a drop falls into a bucket full of water, then you see this uh, swirl around it. Uh, it combines uh, yellow and uh, yellow gold and diamonds. The diamonds are held in four 
prongs of uh, white gold? So, this is a difficult question for a jewelry designer to be asked, but do you have a favorite, you know, field of jewelry that you like to design more? Necklace, earring, jewel, like a ring, what is it? Well, even though earrings are the easiest uh, item to design, I find myself designing more earrings. Earrings are somehow more challenging. There okay. is left and right. Uh, you have to uh, think of face. Uh, how it's going to sit down, yeah, exactly. how it's going to be yes. looked at, right? With rings, the things are simple. With it's on the hands. It's on, it's on the hand, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, with earrings, it's somehow more challenging, I would say. So you like the yeah. challenge? Yes, I like the challenge. I like the... the mm, process? The process, yes. Process okay. is, is... Is key for you right now yeah, with the I'll earrings. Say. What about the materials that you use in your jewelry when you're designing? Do you have a favorite? Is there someone something that stands out for you? Uh, I work with 18 karat gold, okay. which is a flexible and very, very uh, easy metal to work with. Okay. Uh, it's easy to be colored, that is to say either white, yellow or rosé. I also work with platinum, okay. which is a very exclusive metal. and. Uh, very hard to work with, <laughs> but with different accent and then with different, uh, for very special pieces. Uh, as far as it concerns stones and diamond, uh, I love to work with unusual shapes, unusual phases of the stone. For example, as I mentioned before, the rose cut diamonds, right. uh, brown diamonds, black, oh, and and uh, all those quartzes and sapphires and uh, amazing yeah what about you know the customers that want to purchase your designs where can they find you guys uh, they can find me here most of my customers are frequent customers that admire my design and my style of uh, jewelry okay uh, i sell through selective shops in jerusalem and I sell through Etsy. Etsy, yes, so which is a new our, channel, exactly. a new channel for uh, handmade and uh, exclusive jewelry. Right. So for all our international viewers, they can find you on Etsy. All our Israeli viewers can come check you out on Dizingoff. On Dizingoff Street, on 147. 147 Dizingoff, or in Jerusalem, in, yes, in the selected same. stores. Mm -hmm. um, well, thank you so much, My and pleasure. everyone, go check out Kashi Designs. Bye. Bye. <laughs>It's amazing to see how Moti talks about his jewelry, how he attracts inspiration from a simple walk in the park or a drop in the water. He takes his designs very seriously and hopes to give the people wearing them the same feeling he had when designing. So from this moment on, get your running sneakers ready, all the excuses of why you shouldn't work out out of your head and get in the zone. Because up next, we are showing you all my sit down with the fabulous designers of It Activewear. They're going to tell us all about how and why fashion can be crucial to feeling good and in turn, looking good. Let's check it out. For those women who are in love with working out and are very involved with fashion, these next two Israeli designers have brought just those two aspects together, fashion and activewear. We are here with Idan and Taz, hey. the designers of It's Fine Activewear. So for those people who are a little confused about why we should be so focused on fashion when we're gonna go and sweat anyway, so why is it important to be fashionable while you're exercising? First of all, it's very important to look and feel good no matter where, where you go. Okay. So, uh, no matter if it's to work out or just to drink coffee or... Right. Or the gym. Or, or the, the gym. gym. <laughs> yeah. Our clothes, that they are dry fit and they stretch you for direction. It's very important to choose well your active wear, even though you're going to sweat in them. Right. Yeah, and you're going to sweat. But <laughs> our... Yeah, you of course. You should sweat. You're not doing anything if you're not sweating. And after the practice, if you want to go to drink coffee with your friends, you right. can still wear them. Yeah, so you guys all day long. Right. So you guys are making it kind of like a 
on the way kind of thing. You're going to yeah. work out, but that doesn't mean you have to stop at home. Yeah, you know, no, no. Change your clothes really no, quickly. All day long. Right. right. You guys can wear it. And you can outfit. put a, a jeans jacket right. or a leather jacket and continue with your day. Right. And you still look, uh, look good. And yeah. So definitely going to be. Yeah. Good. And our uh, fabric are uh, sweat weekly. Okay. And uh, stretch for directions. And dry, dry feet. feet. And like all the, the good techniques that need to be in the in the active wear fabric we do have right you're gonna feel good after the practice you yeah. don't you don't gonna be a uh Feel like you you Sweaty. must uh, put it uh, put you down your throw it out. yeah it's like you're not drenched in sweat you don't see the Definitely. sweat on you when you're wearing these no. clothes it's like you feel good you look good after workout you can continue on your day and you yeah. still yeah. look good yeah so because it's become not just in Israel but I see it more I guess because now I'm here a lot of women are always walking around you know wearing their active wear to school you didn't yeah. work out mm -hmm. there's no way no. you got to work out before our 8 a.m. class but there's they no want way. to go to but school, it's but it's stylish and comfortable. And comfortable, and that's I think kind of the direction that girls started going into more. It's like yeah. if I can wear it and feel comfortable, but also look good, good. why should I wear jeans? Why should I wear Definitely. heels and all these things that mm -hmm. are uncomfortable? These are good styles. And sneakers, uh, I think it's the best uh, sneakers to open the the day. <laughs> yes. So you guys are wearing your latest collection right now. This is what's available in the stores. Yeah. So you guys here are marble. We have the mesh. We have the snake skin. And what do we have here? I want to show you. Ooh. So the bag. So the bag. <laughs> yes. So the bag is amazing. We have it fine active wear, right? She's wearing it fine active wear. And wow. it, it's I to Idan's name. And T is Tal. So <laughs> it, that is. worked out. Addiction yeah. made her do Addiction it. Addiction made her do it. Very true. This is addiction also yes. for a healthy lifestyle <laughs> and to eat active wear. <laughs> so what do we have here? We show you. Ooh. We have here. This is the ice marble. The ice marble leggings. Amazing. It's like the black in the... Right. And this is the most trendy um, style. This style. is definitely the trendiest style. The marble. And touch it. Feel yeah, it. Yeah, the material is super, super soft. Mm -hmm. It's not like one of those that, yeah, very stretchy. Mm -hmm. And you guys have all your, you can breathe. Yeah. Let's yeah. put it this, this way. This is yeah. mesh. Yes, yes, for sure. And Beautiful. this is the top. So the top is our wow favorite. Thing. Wow, wow, wow. And I think you can look at the top and it's very feminine. It's very feminine. So it's kind of like... You go into the gym and you're seeing all these guys and you're seeing all these girls and you're sweating and, you want and you're dying. Good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're like, and you still look good. And you still <laughs> look good because this, you know, it shows everything off. It looks really nice. So you wear it like this. Mm -hmm. as, a as a set. As a set. Amazing. Perfect. And you can do mix and match also. Right. You can and wear you the can, black and, and white. And if, if, uh, if someone don't want to put only this and the top, you can put a t-shirt on. So you guys also have t-shirts. We have a yeah. t-shirt with t -shirt. big holes. This is the newest t-shirts. This is from the new collection. New collection. We have not seen this yet. Nobody <laughs> has seen it yet. No one's seen it. Amazing. Yes. With with always mesh. with the mesh. I yeah. love it. It's really nice. It's really cute. We have here. This is the snake sna skin. Snake second skin. Ooh. Top. So it comes with um, this is crossing the back. So for girls who are looking to buy you guys, where can they purchase your designs? Uh, they can find us in. Uh, we have a website. Okay. Uh, Itactivewear.co.il. Uh, Check it out. And <laughs> um, we also have a, a social media in the Instagram, right. Facebook. We have a. Um, worldwide Fast. shipment. Oh, you guys do worldwide shipment. Of course. Of so course. You guys can definitely get them abroad. The DNA of our company that if you wear it, no one can ignore you. Right. Wow, amazing. Okay. Yeah. So if I walk down the street with one of yours, I will have a lot of people walking. And a lot course. of heads <laughs> will... Uh, a lot of heads turning. <laughs> yes. A lot of numbers being sent. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone go check out It's Active Wear. It's Active Wear. Bye-bye. Tal and Idan figured out a way to make fashion meet fitness, making every girl feel comfortable in their own skin. Can't wait to see what's next with our latest collection. Definitely worth checking out, ladies. So, okay. So, like I said before, if you aren't ready for a workout, you are about to be. But this next item isn't a let's go to the gym, get sweaty type of thing. It's a more relaxed, zen, inner peace type item. Up next, we'll show you our amazing sit down at the beach with yoga mat designer Tal Janowski.
following up on our last interview with It Active Wear, which I'm wearing right now, we thought it'd be really creative and cool to bring you guys a different aspect of sports. So, we are here right now with Tal Janowski. How are you? Good, and you? I'm great. Who designs these amazing yoga mats. Thank you. Amazing <laughs> yoga mats. So tell us, how did you get started designing? Um, actually, the true story behind the story that I started yeah. designing this yoga mat was that I wanted to buy my own mat. And in Israel, we don't have very big variety right. of, uh, of different yoga mats. So I started searching online and I found really nice companies that sell these kinds of mats. But the problem for me was the price because the average price was between $100 to $150 and not including the shipping rate. And the customs tax and all of the and things on top. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And uh, in the same time, I started thinking of doing something of my own. So I thought to myself, why not start with this uh, line of design yoga mats for the Israeli customer? Amazing. Yeah. So, so you were kind of bringing something that was missing in the market. Exactly. Because Is you know, there's a lot of Israel, like a lot of Israelis are really with the trend of yoga. We have amazing weather, so they do it outdoors. Yeah. And what's better than to design a unique mat and something and different? Then something that helps you express yourself even during yoga. Even during exercise. Yeah, exactly. So what are the materials of this yoga mat? So. So I decided to use an eco-friendly PVC. It's okay. also expendable. Uh, the reason that I, I decided to do PVC because first of all, it's the most common material that people know and know how to practice on. Right. And also from my personal experience, I found that the PVC, if you do it in the right thickness, for example, for this mat, you do the PVC six millimeter thick, so you still have the right support from the mat, and it still helps you, because of the nature of the PVC, it's very soft, helps you connect to the ground while you practice. Right. And also you have an anti-slip material on the top that helps you during the position not to slip. Right. And what about the design themselves? How did you come up with them? Do you design them yourself? How does it work? So basically I really like Bohemian style and okay. Bohemian lifestyle. I really connect to the way of living. And I think the Bohemian lifestyle uh, talks about free spirit, right. connecting to yourself, connecting to Mama Hurt. And I think it's not far from what yoga is about. Right. So this is why we decided to go with the Bohemian style for, the, for this, these lines of mat. And also, if you notice, the details that you have on the mat, they help you center yourself while you practice. Right, wow. Every design have like the center of the mat. That's amazing. You know where you need to put your hands, when you need to put, where you need to put your feet. So we really thought about the philosophy of yoga, exactly. like the practicing of yoga, exactly. where your hands go, your feet go, and exactly. downward, downward dog, like all those different kinds of positions. Exactly. So it kind of is also like a, like an aid for people that who are starting off yoga, maybe like, you know, help them really figure out where they're supposed exactly, to be. Exactly, exactly. And stay in the area of the mat. You need to understand what is the boundaries while you practice yoga. Amazing. So what role do you feel like design and fashion play in yoga? Because you're making these uh, designs, you're making these yoga mats, and you know, you're, you're giving a little twist with your design. How do you feel like fashion and design really incorporates? I think that fashion and design is about expressing yourself and feeling better with what you do. So if you can combine it while you practice yoga and you can motivate yourself and feel better and feel unique and feel trendy while doing it, I think it's the best solution. And also people like to practice at home. So when they buy, they create themselves their, their own quiet little place. Like a corner where it's like kind of also adding some design and color exactly, to it. Exactly, exactly. So it makes all the practicing a lot more fun. Right. Everybody go check out Yano Life and Style. And this is when we finish practice. We need to say thank you for, the, for our body for letting us practice and uh, letting us connect to ourselves. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hands down, most relaxing interview I have ever done. The yoga mats have a boho chic type vibe and compared to regular mats are not that pricey. Tal is planning on expanding her creative designs into kitchenware and a couple more surprises. So definitely follow along her journey, Yano Life and Style. 
So, keeping up with today's fitness and lifestyle trend, I decided to bring in someone who can break it all down for us, who can help tell us what are the do's and don'ts before and after a workout. Here in the studio with us is the gorgeous Stephanie Rachel. Hi, Steph. Hi. How are you? Very, very good. Okay, great. So why don't you tell everyone, for those viewers who don't know, what it is you do and how you kind of got started with your classes. So my class is called Miami Sweat. I'm originally from Miami, and I've been living in Tel Aviv for almost three years, and I'd go back and forth to visit my family, right. and I would always do workout classes there, and I kind of wanted to bring um, the Miami boot camp and the Miami flavor right. to Tel Aviv, which is also such a fit, fun city. Yes, yes, So I mixed sure. both worlds together, and it's a fun class kind of filled with Cardio, dancing, Zumba type, a lot of hip hop wow. twerking. But in the middle of the dances, we do a lot of circuit training and boot camp. So you get the athletic um, workouts with fun and with the Beyonce vibe right. and everything. So well, yeah. what if you have never danced a day in your life? It's super easy. It's meant for beginners. So it's workout based. It's all about do you want to sweat? Do you want to look good? Do you want to let your hair down? And oh, have yeah. fun. Definitely. So that's what this class is about. <laughs> Um, and then we break down the steps. One, two, one, two. It's nothing crazy. You don't have to be a dancer. Like a professional no, dancer. No, you just have previous. to want to sweat and work out and yep. just have not fun. care. Have, have fun. fun. Exactly. Okay, so you've been working out for a while. You are in the, you know, the game. You know the nutrition aspect to it. What would you recommend? Like, do you think it's crucial to eat before and after a workout? Eating at the right times and knowing when to eat can transform your body because a lot of people just eat during meal times, breakfast, right. lunch, dinner. But if you're having a high intensity workout and your body is gonna work and your muscles are working and everything is breaking down fats and stuff, you need to get that protein, you need to get those carbs that are gonna make you look good, to show your lean muscles, to yes. show the maximum that you wanna show. So, um, yeah, working, yes. eating it's is crucial, important. It's crucial, definitely. Eating is important. <laughs> yeah, to eat. working out. <laughs> so what would you recommend for people to eat before or after a workout? So before a workout, I would say to eat 45 to an hour um, before the workout. Okay. And I would say to eat some form of complex carbohydrate or protein. So I love bananas. It, it'll give you the carbs, it'll give you the protein. I love it with peanut butter. It'll really energize your body. And yogurt, muesli, everything like okay. that is perfect before a workout. Work out, work hard, your muscles are working. After the workout, I would say to eat protein. Fish, grilled chicken, um, dark leafy greens, something that will give your muscles the reward that they deserve. So you see the lean protein, you see the lean muscles showing. Amazing. That's what I would say to eat. Okay, so you're clearly here in your workout uniform. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel fitness and fashion like connect? Do you think there is a connection? Do you think it's important you know, to look good when yeah. you work out? What do you think? I think, and especially us women, when we look good, we feel good. And it doesn't mean, you know, everybody has their own style. If you're comfortable, comfort is key. You have to be comfortable. Right. But, you know, if I feel sexy and if I feel fun, I want to show it off. I want to be in the eye. I want to be out there. And I think when you feel good, you want to look even better. And I'm not saying, you know, don't be anything that you're not. Right. Fine, you know, you can wear pink, I can wear black. I can wear this style, you can wear that style. I look good and you look good and I feel good. I think it's going to make you more comfortable in the gym, whereas if you're constantly, you know, adjusting your shirt or pulling up your pants, it can ruin a right. workout for sure. Okay, so workout, you know, when you're looking good, you feel good, so you think that it's definitely important. For sure. All right. For sure. 100%. Well, thank you so much for here, being thank here in the you. studio with us. And everybody, make sure to check out Stephanie's Miami Sweat Dance Class. Go get a little sweaty or come join us by the beach for some yoga. Follow her on Instagram to get some more motivation. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. This show went by way too fast as per usual. But thank you guys so much for staying tuned. If you missed any episodes, go check us out on ILTV tv slash Israel in style. Have a fabulous and stylish week, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>